Well, we just got out here, public spot. We got a how many acre pond slash lake? 30. About a 30 acre lake, pond. There's like five or six groups here. It's kind of a packed house, but we snuck in between two groups and we're gonna see what we can do here. There's usually not a whole lot of birds here, but I've never seen this many groups here, so we're hoping somebody might have scouted this place. And hopefully there's some birds. I could finish our limit right now. Three, two, one. I got three. I don't want to shoot back there. And I'll I think we're good. We got three. Four. That's why I was being careful. Yeah. We'll talk about a couple birds. To start the day. Right in front, Wyatt. Right in front. Big group. Oh yeah, we were good at seven. What? Yeah. We almost had a rod of like 20 teal do it again. When you were killing it. Dude, if we would have bull shot, we could have killed so many over a limited would have been bad. I think there's a couple of them there. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Don't go down there, boy. <laughs> Dude, I have that muskrat at three yards. N not even. I could have touched the guy. <laughs> A little mid-morning update here. It's about nine o'clock. We are probably gonna stay for another hour. Had the first group come in, right? So it was about five minutes before light. We were like, let's go get sand in there before a bird lands and we can't get to our spot. Cause we were just sitting in the canoe back here. Yes, yeah, they did it. Somehow those birds stayed put. Not sure how. Gave them the old one tap. Didn't want to go too many shots into them cause that was a little sketchy shooting at that many at once. But got four out of that group. Group of flew by after I tried to give it a poke real quick, didn't get one. Hopefully we can get a few more birds to fly here. Had a couple big ducks fly over, we didn't quite do it. Everyone's been blowing calls out and they do not like it. Well, good morning everyone. It is October 14th and we are out doing a little public land sit this morning. Got three, four dozen decoys out, a couple spinners, a couple other motion decoys, but if you just saw I had a wood duck in the kill hole for six minutes before shooting light, sat there until about 20 seconds, 30 seconds before and I tried to show my phone to the camera that it was about shooting light before we went. And I think he saw me pick up my phone. I don't think he went far. Hopefully he comes back. I think that's the same wood duck when I was paddling out this morning. I spooked up a wood duck right in front of me. I'm gonna guess it might've been the same one because he was not far from here. It's where he wanted to sit. Hopefully some birds fly. I'm gonna just sit down here and I'll catch up to you if we get some birds flying here. It's shooting light now. Last night was the first time all year there'd been freezing temps. You would've thought there'd been some birds flying for us this morning, but so far about 10 minutes in, it's only been that wood duck. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's time to start playing games on the phone. Something's gonna show up. Here we go, this is it.
No cigar. Just gotta take him when I got him. Why did I? Got greedy trying to get them all to decoy. Instead, I get none. Well, I just flipped around some decoys. That's what we got to work with now. Made a little more inviting pocket here. These birds keep trying to land from behind. I don't know. The winds, it's supposed to switch. Right now, it looks like it's going that way but it also looks like it's coming into me. So I'm not sure. There really isn't any wind to begin with. I think they're just being big ducks and they have no wind. They're just not feeling like getting down. They lock up, they cup down, and then they get close and they just kind of pick up. Don't think they're seeing me. I'm hidden pretty well. I'm just right, sitting right up under this tree. They shouldn't be seeing me coming from behind because the tree's there. I don't know. We'll see what the next group does. It gave it a little, little change. Move the decoys out just a little bit so there's a bit more room for them to land. And they can still land past them. We'll see what happens. You gotta be kidding me, I knew that happened. I stood up, I was like, sitting here, I'm like, what can I do to make a bird fly? Like, let's go use the bathroom. I walk back there, as soon as I get my waiter zipped back up, and I start walking forward, ooh, the gun's jammed up. I look up, and there's Three gaddies and a wood duck landed in the hole as I turn around. They're landing. Sure enough, I kind of got back to my gun quickly without spooking them. We got ourselves a two piece, baby. I'm gonna go pick these boys up. We got a woody and a gaddy. <laughs> oh, let's get these dang birds, son. Wow. This goose is gonna give it up right next to us. That's one dumb bird. Wow. Why can't goose season be open? Wow. Check out the gaddy and the woody. There we go. Look at those two. Just studs of birds. I'll get you guys a better look at those here later. I don't know how much of that y'all just gotta see. I cannot believe that just happened. I was sitting here, kinda getting done with the day, thinking it's about over, hadn't seen a bird for a while. It's like, what can I do to try and get a bird to fly? So, I did what anyone else would do. Got up, went back in the bushes, started using the bathroom. Sure as crap, I'm zipping up my waders. And look back, and if you can guess, there was three gaddies and a woody just in the kill hole. Inches off the water. I'm standing 10 foot back there, I'm like, crap. So I kind of try and crawl forward Two of the gaddies get up and go far. One of them jumped over here. The woody was still in the spread. So I turn. When I grabbed, grabbed my gun, I thought the camera was on. I hadn't got it back on. I just changed the batteries on it. I think I had the GoPro on in time. Grabbed my gun. Shot the one to the right. Didn't even see the wood duck in the spread. Woody gets up. Shoot it. We got a couple stud birds. If I could have done something this morning, we'd have a nice old limit today. That goose is still down there just doing goosey things, flying around. Well, I'm going to call today there. I got to get picked up here, and then I'll see you guys back at the ramp. <laughs> well, that's going to do it, y'all. Ended with that single drake wood duck and a gaddy. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying the canoe videos out on the public lakes and 
all this duck hunting. Can't wait, about to have goose season turn up here and got home opener coming up in two weeks. So hopefully then we can get on some more birds for y'all. If you're enjoying the waterfowl hunting videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. We sure appreciate it. Leave a comment what you want to see and that's going to do it. We'll catch you in the next video. Welcome back. We're out getting a little morning hunt here. Just had a nice cold front come through. Hopefully a bunch of ducks showed up. We got three dozen ducks set up in front, dozen geese, some mojos. Hopefully the birds cooperate and if they do, hopefully they die. Stay tuned. Is there even going to be a bird that flies? Oh, right here, right here. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. GoPro wasn't on. I got him. Green wings. Green wings. Hey. I didn't want to shoot them if you weren't ready because I knew they were going to get out quick. I liked how they landed all the way up there. I couldn't find where they were in the shed right here. I was like, what? <laughs> Old green wing dinger. A little two pack gave it up. Go throw these in the canoe. Oh. Let me tell you, these reeds are not fun to walk through. Oh, Kirby, here, here, another group. Yep. Two for, got two of them. I should have smoked that single. Oh, fast and furious. I didn't think you were gonna be able to shoot, so I was waiting. No, you were good. I was standing almost in the spread. I might, might need the canoe on this one. There's one. Heck, I might make it there. I got it. I don't think I've ever gone that far and stayed dry. Another two pack of green wings. Ah, another two. Sorry, I could have said we were good to shoot, but I also was standing in the open and it was a little, I was just staying dead still and then you didn't shoot it like there's no way they didn't see me. There we go, a little fast and furious action to start the morning there. All green wings are just giving it up. Hopefully we get some big ducks flying here soon. And if they do, hopefully they die just as good. That's not a duck, is it? No. It's one of them black flamingos. My gun's just been chilling in the water. The reed sunk down. And my barrel is full of... Oh, I'm about to dry that out. I just poured water out of my barrel. Yeah, I saw that happening, I can't lie. They didn't look like they were too steady anymore. Hello? What? Come on, Mo. What did you drop? Oh, there it is. It came, came back up. I was like, oh, this is going to be so cold. Like that's a brand new wing and it was a nice one. Forgot you can just pull that up there. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you break it? It was cracked. Like, I wonder how much give this thing. <laughs> well, great idea. Check how much give it has. <laughs> 